your, your legacy, I mean, you're, you're going for the all-time wins. You've won more state championships than anybody. Uh, how do you hope to be remembered? Well, I don't know. I, I, I just hope that they think I always did the, the best for the kids, and, and I hope they think that I put the kids ahead of just winning. And uh, I don't know. It said, it said in the newspaper, well, he's a nice guy. Well, I like being remembered as a nice guy, you know. I'm not a screamer, or yeller, and so on. And uh, I just hope they remember that and remember a great, uh, a great experience here at Harrison. And I motivate them in other ways. I, I just, you got to be yourself in coaching. I found that out a long time ago. You can't try to be somebody else. You can't act like you're uh, Nick Saban if you're not, you know. So I've just always been the same person. I guess you could hope that your athletes take away from your tutelage. What would it be? Well, I hope that they better better people and that they develop responsibility. And uh, Coach Sutter, who was with me for a long time, and Coach Hurston now, they always say, hey, if you got to uh, think about if something's right or wrong, don't do it because it's probably wrong, you know. So I hope we lead them that path. I hope they're all successful, obviously, and uh, most will be. There will be some that will maybe fall, but maybe they'll look back at football and say, well, it's a great time in my life and it's something I'll always remember. We've got a saying here called STP. It's something we go through on a, a conditioning thing. Strength, toughness, and pride. And a lot of them come back and say that has helped them, even when they were in the, maybe in the Afghanistan or Iraq, like a couple of our, our kids were. So.